So I'm on my bike today, um, going through the woods off the trail, parking it, walking. As you can see in the background, the sky is completely blue. It's high pressure. So seeing stuff out is gonna be slim to none unless I get lucky. So I'm going to uh, be flipping logs, checking all the nooks and crannies and see what I can find. I really want to flip a mud snake. I haven't done that in a long time. Um, the swamps are a little bit dry, but there's still some water. So maybe flipping logs around the water will do. So I'm going to do what I can today, but I definitely I'm not too optimistic. Well, he was eating grass. He sees me now. I think if I keep moving on, he'll go back to eating grass. So here you can see where I, uh, a turtle laid eggs. And you can uh, see the egg shells here and where they came out of the ground. There's a wet area over here next to me. That's where the turtles are living. So I just flipped this log back and I've got a leopard frog here. Pretty good sized leopard frog. These are real common in Florida. Put this log back on him. Here it goes. Well, all I got today was exercise. <laughs> just saw that one leopard frog and that was it. So, but exercise is good. The outdoors is great. Saw a couple of gopher tortoise eating grass, and uh, I'm heading back. This is going to be the weekend, and there should be something going on. So hopefully, uh, find something this weekend pretty decent. That'll be interesting. So this is the Florida brown snake. Uh, Northern states, it's called the decay snake. It's kind of got, some places it's got a darker head. And I'm sure sometimes it might get called a ring neck. But uh, these are very small fossorial secretive snakes. And um, they like to eat earthworms, slugs insects one thing about it and i couldn't get this guy to do it when i caught him was to flatten out and when they flatten out the inside of their scales the skin turns as you can see the white part so they they look way bigger and kind of a little more meaner or aggressive than what than what they already are even aren't so they kind of look almost like a different snake. I've actually had somebody call me to their house. I drove all over their house and they said they had a hog nose snake. And it was just one of these flattening out. They'll flatten out and look so different. So anyway, just a little Florida brown snake. I'm sure it's food for a lot of animals. Let it go in the uh, leaf litter. So here is a baby mud snake. Um, Garrett found it crawling around his neighborhood one night because he lives behind a swamp. So these are really cool. The red on these things are outstanding. I love the red coloration of their belly. 
such cool snakes. Females can have probably 60, 70, 80 babies, eggs, lay eggs, and they, uh, they stay with them actually until they hatch, usually in some type of cavity on dry land. Of course it is, dude. Purse web spider nest. So they do this so that it looks like a root or a vine coming off the tree. And they'll sit down there and they'll wait. Yeah. And as something crawls, they can feel it through the silken tube. Yep. And then they'll come from the inside if they're really elongated fangs. They should look right and rip through their tunnel to pull it out. Yeah. I don't want to tear this guy's apart though. If he's not going to come out, it's on the corner, I'm just going to leave him. That's so cool. Come on out. Look at those fangs. Is that you say it? Shalukari? eye? There you go. Fangs is good. Purse web spider. Oh, he's not with Cappy. There we go. large alligator. Pretty good size on there. Well, herping's been slow. Um, haven't got any rain. It's pretty dry and I can't find much right now. I'm in South Florida and uh, nothing's happened today except for an alligator. I did see a racer that took off, but that was it. So hopefully things get better. I can make a decent video here for March. We'll see. So I just flipped his ring neck uh, <laughs> here by a roadside. There was a board. Checked it out. So common species. So I'm out today, finally again, herping uh, North Florida. Um, I'm going to meet up with some FWC people, uh, some biologists, and they're looking around for insects dragonflies and some other beetles and bugs that I'll be looking for herbs um, I've got a place that I'm gonna check real quick that I have some cover to see if there's anything under that and then I'm gonna meet up with them and be hiking around the sand hills and uh, I think a, a new area that I've never really been in uh, I'm gonna go with them so it should be an interesting day I uh, hope get something out of this uh, so I can finish the video up. So anyway, let's see what happens today. I'm looking forward to it. So this is a Luna moth, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. oh, cool. Look at that. It's upside down, isn't it? Yeah. To get, to get it's a the other side. I tried it. <laughs> Flip it around. <laughs> well, that Sorry is. about that. Yeah, you can actually get a There you go. Yeah. They tend, they get floppy, but they tend not to fly off unless you really launch them. Let's 
so cool. Whoop. I'm gonna put them back. Right there like that the I just want to put them back. Look, look. Well, we'll just leave him down there. He's probably safer down there. So I just flipped this board and got a cane break. That's cool. Very cool. He's not happy to see me. There's been a big rat in here under this board every time I flip it and he finally uh, ate it looks like. So this is cool. A nice cane break. Okay. Let him go where he wants to go. Very nice. Very nice. These guys are highly venomous. I'm staying my distance. Get a couple of photos and that's it. Put them back under the board.